Alright lads, welcome back to another enlisted video. Today we're going to be talking about the Panther for the Invasion of Normandy campaign. As you can see this thing is unlocked at level 31, meaning you will have to grind out a metric shit ton of points to actually get to play it. You can also buy a Panther with a gold vehicle order. This will basically get you a Panther A that is already fully upgraded from the Warbond shop, but you will still have to unlock level 31 to actually crew the vehicle. Speaking of which, when we actually unlock the level 31, we will have to use a fresh crew to crew the panther. You cannot use any of the previous tanker squads to actually use this tank. So you will have to use a fresh new clean crew to actually fight in this thing. This is pretty bad because you won't have any perk points which will mean it will be a little bit of a grind at first. You also only have three crew members when you start. But as you can see you can unlock an additional two giving you five crew slots. Kind of like War Thunder. The tank only needs three crew members to survive fully functionally, so with five crew you can lose two of them and still have a fully functioning tank. When we take a quick look at the tank statistics, it's powered by an engine producing 700 horsepower and it weighs 45.3 tons. If we take a look at this cross section, we can see that the tank is pretty cramped. We've got a driver and machine gunner located at the front of the vehicle and then a gunner, loader and commander located in the turret. We also have a healthy dashing of ammunition dashed all the way around the tank, meaning any round that penetrates your armor is likely to kill you in a single hit, especially if it's a Sherman Firefly or a Piat. The amount of times I've been shot in the side and get killed instantly because a Piat round hits ammunition is uncountable at this point, but again you could say that's down to me having bad placement and getting shot in the side. Anyway, if we take a look at the Panther's armor itself, we can see that it is only 80mm thick. But the Panther is well known for having very thick armour. Well, this is down to the angling. It's angled at over 50 degrees, giving it an effective thickness of around 110mm of armour. This means you're pretty much immune to everything apart from the Sherman Fireply in the American tech tree, but that tank is a premium so not many people actually have it. This means that the Panther is more protected than the Tiger E, which is the level 36 unlock, but the downside of the Panther is its turret armour. It's a lot less at only 100mm thick, so theoretically you can be penetrated here by a Sherman, but they will have to get up close. But you are pretty much immune to every other vehicle in Enlisted, apart from the allied closer support which kill you with rockets pretty much every time they fire at you. But the lighter tanks on the American team are pretty much, they, they can't really do anything to, what, to you. The biggest threat, like usual, is enemy infantry with their explosive grenades. We're moving on to the firepower and we are armed with the 75mm KWK-42. We have 79 rounds of ammunition in total which is split between armor piercing and high explosive. I typically mainly use the high explosive rounds. The caliber of the gun being 75mm, you can't actually use the high explosive round to kill the Stuart tanks. If you aim for just above the turret, you can kind of splash the crew inside killing the tank instantly which is very effective. But if you come across a Sherman you will obviously have to switch to the armor piercing. With my crew, the tank fires every 8.1 seconds, which is a lot slower than the Panzer 4Js, which some of you might be used to, but it's a bigger gun, it's a bigger shell as well, so it's kind of a trade-off. It's not as good at dealing with enemy infantry, but it's a lot better at dealing with enemy tanks. Not that it matters, the gun does have pretty decent vertical guidance characteristics, 8 degrees of gun depression, it's nice, you can kind of use hold down positions if you can find them. The map design in Normandy though isn't really pertinent to that, it's kind of just corridors and tight maps. We do also have a coaxially mounted rifle caliber machine gun. It's good for spraying down enemy infantry as you can imagine. And we also have a commander's machine gun, which you can only fire if you are obviously outside the commander's hatch. This does make it very easy to kill enemy infantry, but obviously does leave you incredibly vulnerable to return fire. So is it worth grinding out the level 31 Panther tank? Well, I'm going to say yes. If you're going to grind out this tank, you are most certainly going to also grind out the Panther at level 36. And basically the Tiger can only be used in this squad. So you can use that time while you're grinding out the Tiger to train up the crew in the Panther squad. And then you can, when you unlock the Tiger, you can just put the Tiger with this crew straight into that slot. And you'll basically have a fully trained crew ready for your Tiger as soon as you get it. The Panther is also an incredibly good vehicle by itself. Its armor is pretty much immune to damage from the front. Apart from the PR, as I've mentioned. The 75mm gun is also very effective. It rips through enemy tanks. It's not that bad against enemy infantry. It's kind of let down by its slow rate of fire. It's got a decent splash damage with its high explosive shells. So if you do see an enemy, you can rip through them if you want to. 
The machine guns are fast firing, which allows you to just spray and pray and get a lot of kills. So there's not really any downsides to this vehicle. You will have to grind out quite a long way into the tech tree, level 31. That's a lot of hours of play time. But lads, I'd say that it was well worth it. Anyway, lads, thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to let me know down below what vehicle you'd like to see me review next. And if you liked the video, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks again for watching, lads, and I'll see you in the next video.